hello friends so today we are going to see about one more important question and one of the more most important measuring criteria for the machine learning system that is nothing but what is bias and a variance thread off so let's try to understand both things individually and let's after that we will try to compare both of these things now we know that this machine learning system is like a training plus testing system training plus testing system so what happens that in a training you provide lot of data to the machine learning system and it will come up with the model and eventually you apply those model on a testing data or testing data on the top of those model and it will do those kind of intelligent prediction for us so let's try to understand this machine learning system design and its measuring criteria with respect to this bias and variance so let's take a uh, training part first of all let's say in a training part we will assume lot of things so lot of assumption so that means we are building a less complex model so once the model is less complex model i mean a uh, very much easy model so it will go towards the underfitting it won't perform very well on a training data so underfitting and won't perform very well on a training data or i'll write it like a training data training data it will perform i'll make it as a red color okay so it won't perform well on a training data that's why i make it a red color not good but on a testing data it will perform very well so i'll make it as a green color okay so that is a high bias model so you are applying lot of biasing to your system you are making lot of assumption as there is a lot of assumption the output or a objective function whatever you define that will be a very less complex that will be a very easy one so it will be underfitting kind of situation uh, we occur because all training data won't be fully satisfy whatever the equation or a model or objective function you define but it will generalize well so it will do well on a testing but it won't perform very well on a training so that kind of situation you can uh, call it as a high bias plus low variance okay high bias low variance situation now let's see the other uh, side of the system let's say instead of taking lot of assumption you take a almost null assumption no assumption or very less assumption in this case you build a very complex model as you are trying to fit those uh, model with respect to all those uh, training data so this model is moving towards the overfitting kind of situation so all training data will be accommodated with respect to our model or a complex model whatever we have defined so here it will perform very well on a training data so i made it as a green color but the testing part it won't perform well now why that is the situation 
because whenever some kind of data in a testing or even in a training it will change as the model is very complex no assumption about the model it is overfitting those kind of a model its model behavior will immediately change once the training data uh, is little bit change or anyhow the testing data is uh, will be different than a uh, training data so it won't perform very well on a uh, any kind of uh, data so this kind of model whenever there is a very complex model it won't generalize very well so this kind of situation you can tell it like a low bias because you are taking a very less assumption about the system or a data but very high variance very high variance so now if you compare both of this thing in a first case we are putting lot of high bias it is a one side of the system so lot of assumption we are we are particularly biased about the system that i want to make objective function like this and uh, i'll make it like this only so even uh, even if it won't perform well on a training data it will generalize well on a testing data but uh, you are putting low variance so whenever the input data or a training data change its model behavior won't change uh, very much if you see on the other side you are putting lot of uh, high variance but very low bias so you are taking very less assumption but you are putting a very complex model you are trying to fit every single training data or majority of training data to the model you have Uh, defined so that is a high variance uh, situation but if you see in a machine learning system we don't want both of the situation uh, we want machine learning system should be like it should perform well on a training data also it should generalize well it should work on a validation data or even a uh, testing data so both of this situation is not in a favor of ideal or a very good uh, practical machine learning system design which will perform very well on a uh, in a generalized uh, way so we have to go somewhere in between so that is nothing but a trade off trade off between this bias and a variance measuring criteria of the machine learning system so between bias and a variance somewhere between where there is no even high bias so you want take lot of assumption about the uh, system and you even you want make a very complex uh, model also somewhere around a little simple model and somewhere around a little bit about the assumption of the uh, training data or assumption about the system you are trying to uh, design that is how uh, you can build a system like it will perform enough well on a training data or even a uh, very good on a training data and it will generalize well on a uh, testing data also so uh, that's it for the, this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel please 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 do subscribe this thing uh, at last thank you guys for the watching